Welcome to Movie Story Recaps. Today I will show you a mystery story. Titled called The Fresh in 2022. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The story begins, Portland native Noah is growing more and more fed up with online dating, and the obnoxious men she meets. A man called Steve makes eye contact with her one day at the grocery store, and they decide to trade numbers. The two struck it off right away on their first date and had sex. Following multiple dates, Steve extends an invitation to Noah for a solitary weekend getaway. Noah accepts the vacation despite Molly, her best friend's advice. Steve's opulent mansion is where Noah spends the evening before her early departure the next day. After Steve gives Noah a drugged cocktail, she passes out. In captivity, Noah awakens with her chains bound to the floor. Steve exposes himself as a vicious cannibal by explaining that he is a butcher of human flesh, which he both eats and sells to wealthy customers. He frequently seduces and kidnaps ladies on dates since his patrons like the flesh of young women. He claims that in order to preserve Noah's meat, he will keep her alive for as long as possible. Eventually, he plans to remove various bodily parts through surgery. Noah tries to get away from Steve as he lets her take a shower. Steve catches her and punishes her by harvesting her buttocks. Penny, a woman who is being held captive in a nearby room, is spoken to by Noah. Penny tells Noah that Melissa, another victim who has gone wild, is the woman who can be heard singing erratically. Molly, a friend of Paul's who worked as a bartender for Noah and Steve on their first date, starts looking into Noah's disappearance when she starts to worry about it. Molly does some research online and finds that Steve's real name is Brendan. He is married to Anne, and the two of them have kids. Anne is informed by Molly about Brendan's alleged infidelity when she visits her. When Molly questions Brendan, he replies that he has no idea who Noah is. Molly dials Noah's phone as she walks away, and Brendan's pocket starts to ring. When Anne realizes he's been discovered, he knocks Molly out. Anne's prosthetic leg is revealed during a scene in which they are taking a shower together, suggesting that Anne may have been one of Brandon's previous victims. Noah flirts and acts curious about the flavor of human flesh in order to win Brandon's trust. Noah accepts Brandon's invitation to a sumptuous supper that includes human flesh, which she consumes, pretends to like, and then throws up in her cell. Molly is taken away by Brendan to be harvested in the interim. Brendan invites Noah to another dinner, providing her with a pink dress as a gift. Brendan shows Noah a hidden compartment before supper that is filled with things that belong to his victims, revealing that he has kidnapped and killed several women before her. As Noah looks at Brendan's awards, she spots Molly's phone among the victims' belongings that were taken hostage. He feeds Noah breast meat for dinner, which Brendan suggests would taste familiar. After dinner, Brendan agrees to have sex with Noah, who then proceeds to perform fellatio on him, instead, she bites off his penis. While Brendan is hurt and pursuing, Noah assists Molly and Penny in leaving their rooms. After fighting with Brendan in the kitchen, the three flee into the woods, with Brendan chasing after them with a gun. Meanwhile, Molly had given Paul her whereabouts by phone before to her kidnapping. Paul finds Brendan's house by following the location after he doesn't hear back from Molly. But as Paul hears Brendan firing rounds, he turns away out of terror for his life. When Noah, Molly, and Penny succeed in attacking him. Once more in the woods, Noah grabs the gun and kills Brendan. When Anne gets to the house, she discovers Brendan's corpse. In the woods, she runs across Noah and tries to choke her, but Noah stabs Anne in the neck with vehicle keys instead. When Anne gets better and tries to choke Noah once more, Molly savagely beats Anne to death with a shovel. Noah gets a text from a man she went out with at the start of the movie just as she and Molly are finally starting to unwind. Five of Brendan's clients are shown in a mid credit scene sitting at a table in a white chamber with human flesh that is gushing blood in the middle. During the closing credits, a satanic symbol appears, suggesting that the cannibals are a member of a Satanist group. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos, enable your notification settings, and leave a like to support the channel.